welcome back to the 4S Blanket Cow. So it is time for <clears throat> the February square. I'm going to give you a glimpse of my sampler piece first. And here's what it looks like together. Join to the first square. So this was my sampler one. And then here's this month's, or the tutorial one. The one I'm doing along with y'all. So, as you can probably tell, I went with Valentine's Z colors for my uh, square for this month. And then for my sampler piece, I'm just using variegateds that I have in my scrap uh, yarns. So, um, and as I've said before previously, you can use whatever yarn you want to for this, um, as long as it's the medium four weight, and as long as you follow along with me, your squares will match up to where they will join up just right, and you won't have any fudging you have to do to it. <laughs> um, okay, so... How's about we go ahead and get started on this February square? Okay, so for this month's square, I am using this red color for Valentine's, of course. Um, and to start this square, we are going to start by. Oh, and we're going to be using the same hook as we used for the previous square, six millimeter, and we're going to chain 42. So go ahead and chain your 42 chains, and I will see you then. Okay, so when you have your 42 chains, we are going to, in the third chain from the hook, so one, two, three, we're gonna put a single crochet. Chain one. And then in that same chain, we're going to put a double crochet. And that is the waddle stitch. So then we're going to skip two chains. And in the next chain, we're going to do it again. Single crochet. Chain one. Double crochet. All in that same chain. Skip two chains, single crochet in the next chain, chain one, and double crochet in that same chain. And that's what you're going to do all the way across this row. <clears throat> Skip two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, all in the same chain. So go ahead and repeat this all the way down the row and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so at the end of the row, you should have your three chains left. You're gonna skip those last two and in that last chain, you're just gonna do one single crochet. And that's all. Then we're going to chain two and turn the work. 
<clears throat> now, for this row, this row is your repeat for the entire square pattern. So, um, after you chain two, it's really, really simple. So, all we're going to be doing is in every chain space across, we're going to put a waddle stitch. So, in that first chain space, we're going to single crochet, chain one, double crochet. So, you're basically putting a waddle stitch in every waddle stitch. And then you'll skip over to the next chain space, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, all in that chain space. Skip over to the next one, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's your repeat for this row and the rest of the pattern. So go ahead and continue with this row and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so once you get to the end of the row, you're gonna complete that last waddle stitch in the previous waddle stitch. Just like that. Then you're gonna skip over that single crochet and this is going to be hard to get into on this row because it's your beginning row but you're going to get in there in just into that chain two space that we left at the beginning you're just going to go right into it and do a single crochet just like that and that is what you're gonna do for every single row. You're gonna chain two and turn and complete your waddle stitches. And then at the end, after your last waddle stitch, you're gonna put one single crochet into that chain two space right down here easier to see on this second row once you get down here so um yeah because it's right there it's a lot easier to see on that second row so you're just gonna keep repeating this until you have a total of 30 rows so go ahead and do this for a total of 30 rows and I will meet you back there to do the single crochet border. Okay, so once you have completed all 30 rows of your square, we're going to do the single crochet border around the outer edge all the way around, just like on the blanket last month. We're going to chain one here and turn the work now for this top edge we're going to single crochet back into that first single crochet right there and then we're going to put a single crochet in every stitch and every chain space all the way across so in all of the double crochets and all of the single crochets and all of the chain spaces all the way across the row and that should give you when you get to the end of the row you should have 42 single crochets across this top edge so single crochet in every single stitch and chain space across this row and i'll meet you at the end for the corner Now, when you get down here into that last chain two space, you may have to put two single crochets there, and that's fine. So, just like on the square before, when we get to make the corner, we're going to chain two and turn 
and single crochet back into that same space. Now we're just gonna evenly place 42 single crochets down the side of this raw edge. Get to the corner, we're gonna chain two in the corner and put a single crochet, two, a single crochet chain two, single crochet in this corner. Then go across the, et, the bottom edge, 42 single crochets. Do your corner single crochet along this edge. For each side, you should have 42 single crochets and a chain two space in each corner. So go ahead and finish your square with your single crochet border all the way around and I'll meet you back here at the join. Okay, so you should have ended your last single crochet in the same stitch as your first single crochet. And then you're gonna just chain two to finish off that corner and then slip stitch to join to that first single crochet. And then you can cut your yarn and fasten off. Now we will join this square to the January square. Okay, just to keep in sync with the Valentine's colors, I'm gonna be using this pink yarn for my border color on this square. So I'm just gonna put a slip knot on my hook. And, okay, so this is my square right here, and it is right side up. This is the top, and this is the bottom. Okay, so I'm actually going to join my yarn down here in this bottom corner on this side. So I'm gonna flip my square basically upside down. And then I'm going to go into that chain two space, that chain two corner, just like that. And I'm gonna join my yarn with a slip stitch. Okay. Then we will chain three. And this will count as the first double crochet of this round here. So from here, we're gonna put one double crochet in all of the single crochets right here across this row. I'm trying to work over my short tail. <laughs> Just one double crochet in every single single crochet <laughs> all the way across and I will see you when we get to this corner. Okay, and when you get to the corner, you're gonna put one double crochet in the corner, chain two, and one more double crochet in that corner space. Just like that. Now, you're gonna do the same thing down this edge, do your corner, and then across the top here. Now, once you get to this corner, stop, and I will meet you there for us to join this side here to our other square, our January square. So go ahead and work your way around the rest of this, these three sides, and I'll meet you here to do the last side. Okay, so for us to make this one join this one we're gonna need both squares of course so what we're gonna do is and this works better if you have a flat surface to lay this on we're gonna turn these this away and we want our January square to be up top here and the February square to be the bottom now what you have should have already 
done. Hold on, my yarn is getting away from me here. Okay, so you should already have placed one double crochet in this corner here, but that's where I want you to stop. Don't do the chain two and finish that corner yet. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in quite a bit here so you can really see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, let me adjust this a little bit. Okay, so we've got the one double crochet in that chain two corner. So instead of actually chaining two here, we're gonna chain one and then in the chain two corner of this square, we're going to slip stitch into that corner by going down into it like that pulling up our yarn and slip stitching so that has connected the two squares together okay then that also is counting as our second chain for our chain two corner there now we're going to put our second double crochet into that chain two corner there now so we're just gonna work our double crochet just like we normally would, just like that. So now we, let me get that out of there so I can show you what we got here. Now we have our chain two corner and our chain two corner and we are connected to the square. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if you've ever done a, a join as you go like granny square blanket or anything like that this is very very similar to that so let's lay our stuff down so that we can see what we're working with here okay so now it's time to join to the top again so we're gonna find this double crochet here which matches to this double crochet so we 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 joined the chain two corners. Now we've got to join these two double crochets that match. So we're gonna put our hook down in there, take our yarn, pull it up through there, just like that, and slip stitch to join it. Okay, then we'll double crochet into that next single crochet of the February square and just work our double crochet. Find the next double crochet of the January square and slip stitch to join to it. And then work your next double crochet in the February square just like so and then it gives this really cool looking little like braid join on the top there so I'll do a couple more we're gonna find the next double crochet on the January square slip stitch to it to join then work our double crochet in the next stitch on the February square. See that cool looking join? All right, so go ahead and do this all the way across and I'll meet you down here when we get back to the corner down here to show you how to finish this off. Okay, once you have completed your last double crochet in this row and you've connected all of your others you're going this here was your chain three on this um, square here so you've still got to connect to it and it may be hard to find a spot to poke your 
crochet hook in to join to, but just get it in there somewhere in that top of that stitch and slip stitch to it. Then you're going to put your last double crochet in that chain two space. You're gonna do your double crochet there and then you're gonna slip stitch in your corner, okay? Just like that. Now, just like on the where we connected the other corner, we're only gonna chain one here and then we're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch. to finish off our square. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn and tie this off, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you out so you can see what we've got here. All right, so there are our two squares joined together and then you just have to weave in your end but that's it it's all you do all the way down just like that and it's going to be a little ruffly like i said you can block your blanket at the end i probably won't block mine but you can if you want to what i really like about this join is that braided join look from the slip stitches where you join it. That's just really cool looking to me. So there is your February square all finished and joined to January. So enjoy and I will see you next month for next month's square. Bye.